We're back here at DIY IT department and in this bonus session we're going to be talking to you about email clients. Let's go get a little bit of education about what email clients are. From Wikipedia, an email client or email reader or more formally mail user agent, MUA, is a computer program used to access and manage a user's email. The term can refer to any system capable of accessing the user's email box. Some reasons to use an email client would be you can access and manage all your email accounts in one place, stores a copy of each email on your hard disk drive for easy access even without an internet connection, gives you a better word processing program with a spell check, allows you to create a more organized email system by using folders and rules. More reasons that you could use an email client would be to provide tools like contacts or address book, calendars, and task lists that offer reminders. Able to back up all your email contacts and rules easily. and makes it easier to add creative functionality to your emails by using HTML coding, links, and pre-made custom design signatures. The two most used email clients would be Microsoft Outlook, which is a paid email client and usually is included in Microsoft Office Suite. Microsoft does offer a lighter free version of Outlook called Outlook Express for Windows XP or Windows Live Mail for newer versions of Windows. Uh, the second biggest uh, email client out there, which is uh, Mozilla's Thunderbird, which is a free cross-platform open source email client. We're going to go in a minute and show you how to uh, look at both of them and download them. So now let's go over and take a look at these two options for you for email client. This is off of uh, Mozilla. If you go to Mozilla and go to Thunderbird, which will include this link down in the resource support section of this video, you can download Thunderbird and install it. So if you just click here, all you have to do is follow the directions and it's automatically going to download it into your download folder so make sure you find that and you just read through these uh, this little tutorial they have set up and how to set that up for Thunderbird um, we're going to go on back and look at the features page for Thunderbird um, this is going to be uh, all the features and how you can uh, utilize those features so you can scroll through this page and read about Thunderbird so we suggest that uh, if you're going to use Thunderbird to go ahead and download it and utilize its features. Let's go on over to Microsoft. Uh, this is Windows Live Essentials, which is free to download. And so you can download this just by hitting the download button. Uh, Windows Live Essentials includes Windows Live Messenger, Photo Gallery, Movie Maker, Mail, Writer, Family Safety, Windows Live Mesh, Bing Bar, Messenger Companion, Microsoft Silverlight and Outlook Connection Pack. So go ahead and if you want to go with Microsoft's option, go ahead and download that and install it. And in talking about a uh, free email account, that would be like Yahoo or Google, Gmail um, or Hotmail, um, you have to, to configure it to work with these email clients. You got to go in and do some stuff. So let's Go to your uh, free account, uh, free email account, and go into the settings. And in these settings, you can go to forwarding and pop IMAP. So from here, um, you can actually forward your emails directly to an email address. Or if you want to set it up as a pop or IMAP, you can come in here and do this as well. Now, before you do that, um, and you know, setting it up with your email client, you obviously have to come in here and make sure that the pop in is enabled or the IMAP is enabled. Um, we can come in here if you're not too sure about what pop and IMAP is. Uh, you can come down here and get instructions on that with uh, learn more. So we can go in here and getting started with the IMAP and pop. Pop and IMAP, uh, what allows you to do is to download messages, messages, ooh, excuse me, messages from Gmail server onto uh, your computer so you can access your mail with a program like Microsoft Outlook or Thunderbird even when you aren't connected to the internet. Uh, POP and iMac access are free for all Gmail users. If you're using trying to decide between using POP and iMap we encourage you to use iMap. 
Unlike POP, IMAP offers two-way communication between your web, Gmail, and your email client. That's the biggest difference between POP and IMAP. Um, so you can come over here, and if you're trying to get uh, instructions to uh, be able to configure uh, your free email account with uh, the email client, you can come here to configuring instructions, and here are all the links to um, be able to configure that with Outlook Express, uh, Thunderbird, Thunderbird 3, um, and all the different email clients that are out there. So this concludes our tutorial on using email clients. If you do not have an email client, I suggest you go out there and download you one and go ahead and start utilizing it as soon as possible. So we'll see you in our next section, which is going to be using Oracle OpenOffice software.